Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow Earth travelers. Obelix here. Today I want to take just a second to talk to you about the Paulson Grade 5 Titanium Diver. How y'all doing today? So, guys, this was an Indiegogo purchase. For those that don't know, Indiegogo is very similar to Kickstarter, which you've seen a couple of on this channel. So, you know, you pay money into a campaign. If they hit the goal that they've set, uh, they'll go ahead and produce the product. In this case, it is this particular watch. Um, so, let's crack this bad boy open, opening duties today, just because I'm lazy and didn't go pick another knife out of the safe for using the uh, K-Bar Dozier we were using last time. Uh, I think that was on a... I think that was on a Kickstarter. I can't remember. Oh, that was on our uh, Zoo Box unboxing. That was the last one we did. Alright. Get this guy pulled out. And... hope we got some tape to go. Funky looking tape. It's like yellow. And we got some more tape to go. Oh, well packed. I think we can pull it out without all that nonsense and drama. There we go. And just wrapped up again. Pull it out yet again. Alright. So we got the Pulsen. Uh, it's like a kind of rubberized neoprene zip pouch. That's actually decent. Not a bad shipper. I like that. A little clamshell going on. And let's take our first look. Ready? Oh yeah. Very, very nice. Pop this guy out. And we'll set him aside for the moment. Let's see what else came in the packing. Uh, gave us some additional lugs. Excellent. Little instruction card and welcome to the Paulson uh, family card. And we got a Perlon strap. Fantastic. Actually, a really good quality Perlon strap. Nice. It does have a little pleather tab here on the end to keep it all straight and situated. Oh, it's a branded Perlon. Very nice. So they, they took the time to actually brand the Perlon as well. Very cool. Oh man, they plastic the keeper. Uh, I believe these are titanium as well, which is probably why they were branded, because titanium does scratch. Uh, so, or why they were covered there. Let's get the boxes out of the way. Get the plastic out of the way. Get all the mess out of the way. We'll set the pearl on aside. And yeah, this is, uh, so here is the leather. And it is uh, titanium as well. So I'll tell you what, let me get the plastic off this guy so we can take a good close look at him and I'll bring you right back. All right, guys, got all the plastic off of her. We can take a good look. Very nice branded back Paulson. And it is the Pearl Diver. Uh, 100 meter water resistance. Now this guy is running a, a Miyota 9015, which is one of my favorite movements. And like I said, the claim to fame here, guys, is that everything is grade 5 titanium. The case, the bezel, the crown, the buckle, even the buckle on the Perlon, as well as the keeper, the, uh, the captive first keeper, all grade 5 titanium. The case back, everything. I cannot tell you, this guy is so crazy light. We are going to put him on the scale here in just a minute. One thing I think that is not titanium is obviously, you know, the movement hands and dial, right? As well as the uh, the lugs, you know, but, but they are quick release, which is nice because we do have that pearl on there. And they provided additional lugs. We can throw the pearl on, on which is very nice. Uh, that thing that got me though, I mean, I love the titanium and the lightness. Look at that dial. That dial is beautiful. I don't know if the camera's picking up the uh, the sunburst on it, 
but it is beautiful. For me, I see like black on the sides here and like an indigo blue down here at the down at the right at the top and at the bottom. Um, just absolutely beautiful. And as you move it around, the, the colors shift, you know, from a gray to a blue to a, like a navy blue to an indigo blue to a black. And they, they move around the dial. So the black might be over here at the nine o'clock and then it'll move as you twist, you know, move the watch around in the light. So super cool. Uh, sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel. Yeah, ceramic. BGW9 loom all the way around, including supposedly in the bezel. We'll take a look at that. Just a gorgeous piece and actually fairly small. You know, it's not one of the uh, modern day uh, ginormous pieces that we see. Let's take actual, actually a look and see how big and or small it actually is. I do have tape on my calipers here so we don't uh, get it all out of whack. We are looking at a 40, guys. A 40. But even with the crown, you're looking at a 42. Lug to lug, you're looking at always the hardest for me to do behind the camera here. Apparently a one. Yeah, we got all out of discombobulated. There we go, 47. And of course that lug length, replace or lug width, replaceable is a 20. So you can replace straps with whatever suits your fancy. Now since we're doing measurements, let's go ahead and get this guy on the scale because that is the selling feature of this bad boy. And 57 grams with the leather strap. Unbelievable, guys. Just crazy times. Ounces, two ounces. Two! Two! One, two! That's crazy talk. Loving this thing. So, bezel, 120 click. I will say there is a little bit of back play you can see there, but it's not bad. It's well within what I would call tolerable. Um, that ceramic looks really nice. A little soft on the clicks, I think. Uh, and all that means is if you bump it, you know, it's going to be easy to, to move as you bump it. But uh, not bad, guys. Not bad. Not by any means. I've seen a lot worse for a lot more money. But like I said, for me, that dial is what did it. And now getting it in hand, I'm loving that titanium, the lightness of that titanium. Now check out those hands. They, uh, they flare out on the sides as they, they come out, so they're not just straight. They have a bit of a roundness to them, if I can catch it in the light for you. Oh yeah, that dial's coming through on the camera, I think. Look at that thing. Those hands are really cool. Add some character to it, for sure. Uh, I don't normally do loom shots uh, on unboxings. I saved that for the full review, but I'm, I'm going to make an exception on this case, and I'll toss a loom shot in here. So I haven't seen it yet. Hopefully that came out really well. Um, the strap is pretty decent. Uh, the back is actually really comfy. The front, I've never been a fan of lizard skin, fake, you know, fake croc. Uh, I, I wouldn't wear it with this, to be honest with you. It's just not my style. Uh, it doesn't feel, you know, cheap or anything. Uh, maybe a little plasticky, but to me, all these little fake crocs feel a little plasticky. So, you know, I'm a little biased in that regard. So I, I kind of hold my judgment back on that. I probably will switch it over to this Perlon because I do like this, and that's going to be even lighter. And especially now that we're getting into the summertime, boy, is that going to feel nice. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving this Paulson. You you guys knocked it out of the park. I am super stoked to get this guy on wrist and get him out in public wearing this bad boy. I think he's going to be fantastic. In fact, let's do that now. I am wearing the Aquacy 1769 Diver that was one of our Kickstarters from just a little while back. Now, this one's obviously quite a bit heavier, uh, being an all stainless steel 
and stainless steel bracelet as well. But another great piece that we got from Kickstarter. Now again, the pulse in here came from Indiegogo. In a minute I'll pull you over to the computer and we'll take a look at the campaign as we always do. Uh, but let's just get him on wrist. Give him a try. Oh, that, the back of that leather sure does feel good on the wrist, I'm going to tell you. Ah, get on there. New leather, always hard to get on the first time. It wants to be flat-sided, and my, rib, my wrist just didn't like it. It wants it curved. But that's a good size, isn't it? That 40? Yeah, that really holds out well on my 7-inch wrist. You know, not too big, not too little. Yeah, check that out. Really, really nice. Real quick, wanted to show you guys. I did move him over to the Perlon. And yeah, loving the way it looks. And boy, it's even lighter now. We, we just gotta check it. Gotta check it. Alright, ounces. 1.9. Dang. That is just crazy talk. 54.69 grams. So yeah, a little bit lighter. Just a scoosh. Boy, that is sure nice. I do love that pearl on. I will say, I had a devil of a time getting, you know, once I put the, the lugs on, as you would normally do, you put the put the lugs on, then you you run the strap through the lugs. Well, with this little leather piece on the end, it was actually really hard to get past the lugs. And I would have given him a ding on that, because I would have had to take the lugs back off, you know, go find my tool again, take the lugs off, you know, thread the strap, put the lugs on as I'm threading the strap, it would have been a pain in the rear, but because they give us quick release lugs, that made it actually really easy. I didn't have to go get a tool, just put your finger in there, pop it out, came on and off no problem, but I did have to thread it, you know, pre-thread it before I seated the lugs because this was too thick to actually fit down between the body and the lug. So, um, not really a ding because they they made up for it with the the quick release lugs. So, just wanted to, to highlight that. But let's take it over to the computer and check it out. Alright guys, we're over here at the computer and I've got the Indiegogo campaign pulled up for the Paulson Grade 5 Titanium Automatic Dive Watch. Uh, they lovingly call the Pearl Diver. So, this was a campaign by Paula Zane, um, apparently from the British Virgin Islands. They raised a total of $27,915 and the campaign ended on October 31st. Halloween, a little Halloween gift to myself. Um, so they met our met the goal by 108%, which is good. Um, you can see, uh, get off my screen there. You can see what they, um, you know, the pictures they posted, the little video and whatnot. Feel free to check out their campaign if you want to watch those. Uh, you'll see in the campaign they didn't list a lot of information and didn't have a huge amount of pictures. Um, they kept it kind of simple. They just said, you know, here's a picture of it. Uh, and you see those gorgeous hands. And uh, actually, it didn't even come on this strap. This is a NATO strap. Um, you know, and then they, you know, talked about, you know, it's going to be all, everything's going to be grade 5 titanium. You know, you're going to have ceramic dial. You're going to have, um, you know, sapphire crystal and ceramic bezel and all these things. You know, all the, the blah, blah, blahs you have to say. And uh, the campaign was going to be a March delivery. And here we are at the, you know, just at the end of April. So they're a little bit behind, but not bad at all. Uh, you know, a month is pretty reasonable for Kickstarter Indiegogo campaigns to be about a month late. Um, you know, much more than that, you start to get worried. Uh, in the case of, like, Zoobox, boy, we were really worried because that was way back behind where it should have been. I uh, still haven't even gotten my second watch yet. You know, from the first shipment, I haven't gotten my second watch from of that first shipment that should have gone out in December. Um, and here we are, or early January, here we are, April, end of April, and going into May. And they they haven't even shipped it yet, though they're supposed to ship today, I think. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, here you know the basic goals, and I I did get in at the two hundred twenty nine dollar level. Um, I think it's up to two. I think you can still get it. Yeah, they've got a. Uh, no, they've they've ended it. So, but it looks like they're going for. Uh, they want them for three ninety five. That's probably a little much. Uh, ignore the fire truck in the background. Um, you can get it for. 
you know, around 259 is what they were going for at the end of the campaign. So, but I will say, Paula was very good about keeping us up to date and just filling us in on what's going on. You know, see lots of updates from her, which was fantastic. Uh, you know, I never felt like we were at a loss for knowing what was going on. Uh, at one point, it was even uh, expected to be coming out early. Um, you know, she shows you they did a redesign. They kept redesigning the, uh, the logo here. Uh, trying to get the font right so you see little tweaks and twerks they're doing and she kept you know kept us updated on you know okay this is gonna look like this okay I'm gonna change this just a little bit it's gonna be like this you know um, so really really cool you know I was I was very pleased with um, you know how she kept us you know in the loop what was going on and listen to us as people would ask questions and you know hey what about this what about that now here's where you know, it was going to arrive a little bit early, but she's like, hey, no, we got the pearl on in, and this thing was way too big. It was going to cause problems. It should have been this size. Um, you know, this tongue should have been this size, but it came in this size, and on a pearl on, that's too big. You know, it won't fit through these little holes. You know, we needed it trimmed down, so we sent it back, so it's going to take a little bit longer. You know, and that drove it back to its original date, so it wasn't going to come in early. Uh, but, you know, the fact that she kept us up to date was fantastic. I said she did a really really great job. Um, going forward I would absolutely consider buying another one from them. We'll see how this one holds up that I've got on my wrist right now. We'll definitely give it some wrist time. I'll get a full review out to you guys uh, hopefully in a couple of weeks after I've got some time with it and uh, you know we'll see how it holds up. But as we sit right now uh, I would definitely be willing to uh, fund them and get, again if there was another watch that I, I really like the looks of. So that's going to do it for today. I sure do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me, as always. And until next time, you guys, get out there, make some noise. See ya.